What is up, YouTube? We are here today doing some wade fishing. I'm not really in a secret spot, it's pretty well known. Probably figured out by now where I'm fishing. Man, it's been many, many months since I've come here. Water clarity is way better than I thought it was gonna be. Which is a good sign. So I think we're finally in a good spot. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fan out. I'm just gonna throw and just fan my cast. Like I'm just gonna have to throw the popping cork on. Water is pretty green, clarity. At least a foot, foot and a half. It's a good color. Like I like the color of the water here. Oh, I got something. Let's go. It looks like a trout. A small guy. Let's go. No skunk today. No skunk today. I don't usually see the trout eat the goat. Trout. Yeah, he came up so close to me. That was intense.
I loosen up the drag a lot. He's not really fighting that hard. Trout have to be 17 inches. Oh, he jumped. All right, give him this a little show. Oh, it's in between my legs. Come on, guy. I just want to look at you. You are 17 inches, 17 and a quarter. I would keep you, but I'm looking for redfish. Really fat, man. He's been eating good. We gave him a good release. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to take my lure out. Silly me. Alright. I'm getting way too excited trying to release him. Can't really see back with the, with the bait in your mouth, man. And I got a really good hook set on that. I'm glad I got that on camera. All right, for all this time, man. See you later, buddy. Go ahead and uh, make my way back to the car. All right, guys. Well, today has already been quite the adventure. Uh, I'm a little late to the water right now, but as you can see, I had a little bit of difficulties with my car but shout out to Finn and Feather there's a gentleman there who helped me out and man it, he really saved my life guys support your local businesses Finn and Feather you guys better go support them man they are some good people oh I just scared a school of redfish. About three or four of them. I felt like a hit. I felt like another hit. So the wind is coming from my left. So I'm going to throw to the right. I'm going to fish where the wind is pushing the bait into. I'm using a weedless hook right now too. I'm not sure if that will uh, affect my hookup. But Definitely, it's not getting me stuck. I'm trying to be as stealthy as possible. There's a redfish lurking right here. Oh, good. me somewhere. Yeah, they're making all kind of dust clouds.
just I'll push that way, you get me that way. They're tasting shrimp. Let's go, let's go. There's a little one, but I got him. He's so red. I saw him swimming. I got you, bro. I knew this lure would work, man. This is my favorite. One of my favorite ones for redfish. This dude's not gonna keep, but man, you're done, bro. I need my fish grips on him. I saw him chasing shrimp. And I saw him going in and out of the grass. He was trying to cut me off in the grass. It's a good hook set. And he like hit it and then like kind of stood still for a second. Just open your mouth, man. He's gonna make me use two hands. Usually, this is how people lose fish with two hands. That's why I close his mouth. I mean, open it. Come on, bro. Get to you. Come on, brother, you're done. Come on, bro. Bruh. There we go. It came out. You just check it out right now. Nice, pretty red. That's one of the prettiest reds I've ever seen. Super red and copper. Blue tail. Louisiana Slot. Let's see. 17 inches, just under Louisiana slot. I'm gonna go ahead and release this guy. Let him fight another day. Come on, guy. Make the recovery. Make the recovery, and he's off. Good stuff. <laughs>